Hey guys and welcome to a new video on how to do. Today I will show you how to create a Prisma flow diagram for your systematic review. Um, I'm just doing a quick video here because I have to use the Prisma flow diagram for a systematic review that I need to do um, for my bachelor thesis. So what you want to do is go to prisma-statement.org till you come to this um, website. Then you have a checklist that you can see where there are 27 steps that you can just follow and you're on the safe side for a good systematic review. But we want to focus on the Prisma 2020 flow diagram. So just click it until you land here. Now you have four options to choose. One is for a new systematic review, which will probably uh, be for you and for an updated systematic review. So you already wrote one, but you want to update it. So let's just focus, focus on the first two. We have one which includes searches of databases and registers only, and one which includes searches for databases, registers, and other sources. I will just stick with the first one because I only use databases and registers. So I just click on the word link until it is downloaded, then double click it. All right, and then you get redirected here to your Word document. That is the Prisma flow diagram, which you can see here, Prisma 2020. Here is the source, the paper that covers this topic. And now you can just enter here the information. For example, if you screen, um, I don't know, like if you have a search string and you get like uh, let's say 2000 results in your databases, then you can just enter this number here, 2000. Look at the little star down here, consider if feasible to do so, reporting the number of records identified from each database or register searched rather than the total number. I'm doing the total number right now here, but for my bachelor thesis, for example, I will list all the databases, for example, Google Scholar, IEEE Explorer, uh, Springer Link, and so on. And then for example, Google Scholar, uh, parenthesis N is, I don't know, 500, spring a link N is 200 and so on. So just be a bit more clear. Then you can see here records removed before screening. So if you have different databases, you will get some duplicates. So you can just enter the number here, duplicates re records removed. Let's say you have I don't know, 50 duplicates and records marked as ineligible by automation tools. I don't have this, so I can actually just delete this out. Records removed for other reasons. I don't know. Let's just stick with the duplic duplicate right here. Then you have these. Okay. I don't know these. Uh, I don't need these registers. So just let's remove them. We only have databases. Then duplicates removed 50. So we are left with, okay, sorry, with 1,950 uh, records screened. Now we have to go to records excluded. Here are the two stars. If automation tools were used, indicate how many records were excluded by a human and how many were excluded by automation tools. Um, I don't know, I don't use any um, automation tools, but we can, for example, say, okay, we excluded it because the title didn't work. Let's say, I don't know, 500, or let's say, I don't know, 800 titles didn't match. So we are left here with um, 1,150. Then other reports not retrieved, you can just enter the number. Again, here, of course, it has to not be a random number, but um, to stick with your uh, with your search, let's say, I don't know, to have a great number 150. So we have 1000 papers, which is a bit much. <laughs> um, say we have 1000 papers left. And now you have your inclusion and exclusion criteria that you create for your specific topic for your systematic literature review. For example, you only include papers that are written in English, or you exclude all the papers that are uh, older, 
uh, that are written before, I don't know, 2000. So um, you have these different reasons and you exclude them um, while reading the whole text, whole body. Um, yeah, let's say reason two, 200. I exclude 200 for this, another 100 and for this 300. So 500. And then you have this study included in review, which is then uh, how much 600 1000 so 400 studies included. Okay, we don't need these reports. And this is your um, Prisma flow diagram, which you can then just export as a, for example, PDF or PNG. And then you can include it uh, in your I don't know where you uh, write your thesis, if it's LaTeX or Word, but this is how the Prisma 2020 flow diagram works. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little small tutorial. And uh, if you have a video suggestion, just let me know down in the comments and I'll see you guys soon.